Hello, thank you for joining me for another review. This beer could be a good one. We'll see. We'll hold judgment until we've tried it and everything else. It'll be a longer review as well. So, this is New England's IPA version 2 Brewdog and Cloudwater collaboration. This is obviously a hazy IPA, New England style. And there's a lot of sediment in this. This is coming in at 8.5% ABV. This is in a 660ml bottle. Um, I had the first version of this only on draft in Brewdog in Camden. I'll put that link down below for that review. As well as my reviews for Cloudwater and Brewdog. Um, best before the 14th of August of 2017. So I'm reviewing this on the 31st of July, so I've got a couple of weeks on this. Um, there's probably a lot of information about this beer, etc., that I may not, may or may not say during a review. But anyway, there's the bottle cap. So it's brewed at Brewdog up in Scotland, Aberdeenshire. You know where Brewdog are from, and Cloudwater out of Manchester, Piccadilly Trading Estate. So here we go. Here's my Hop City bottle opener. Purchased this beer at, and it looks hazy in the bottle. Purchased this one at the bottle shop in Canterbury, the Good Shed. Little hair stuffing special. Beer in the glass then. Go for my Brewdog Teku glass. Yeah. Kind of what I was expecting, and there's a lot of sediment in this. I can see it coming through the neck of the bottle. Nothing wrong with that. Leave a little bit there for my nose. Wow, that just looks like orange juice again. As you'd expect, being in this kind of this style of beer. That's bubbles, not sediment, by the way. And I'm getting hints of pineapple mango already and it's nowhere near my my big fat nose Ugh. half a finger not even that of pure white frothy head almost creamy looking head yeah just really kind of a nice orangey colour orange juice in the glass it's getting aroma then oh days yeah mango Passion fruit. There's a nice kind of malt backbone to it as well. It's got the obvious kind of tropical fruit notes there, but pineapple is really pushing through for me, just peeking out of the top. There's also some paler stone fruits coming through. Mm. Mm. Dank, all sorts going on in this. Let's get a taste on it then. Cheers. Oh, wow. Really juicy. Sweet, sweet, juicy pineapple, mango, grapefruit. There is that passion fruit there, real citriness, zesty. Slight dryness on the palate. Wow. I remember trying the first collaboration beer they done, the version, not ver it wasn't a version then, but obviously the first edition of this, this being the second version. 
I guess that they're going to carry on doing these collaboration versions now that their double IPAs of Cloudwater have and then they're going into multiple directions with their with their beer, which is fantastic. They just know what they're doing, and obviously, Brewdog want a bit of the action with this kind of this style of beer. And obviously, Cloudwater are starting to nail. They're more they're ahead of Brewdog when it comes to this style of beer, because they've literally been doing it since. Excuse me. Well, producing double IPAs from the start, but excuse me. I, don't, I can't remember what what version it was. Uh, version nine, nine or ten. They started getting into this hazy style at Cloudwater, and obviously Brewdog have seen that. I think, yeah, we'll do a collaboration. Then we're not, they want a piece of the action, which is great. Lovely small bubbles. I told you it's going to be a longer review, so. I'm not gonna pour any more in the bowl because it's not it's not worth it really. So I'm gonna I'm just about to well I'm just reviewing a load of beers and then we're going into a hangout so I'll take my time with this one. I've lost my train of thought completely of this thinking, you know. Just damn good. It's just damn flipping good. It's got a lovely, it's not particularly bitter, and I've just seen it's 30 IBU, so there you go. Um, and I didn't see that until I just thought about it, oh, it's not very bitter, and then it's there. 30 IBUs. Um, for a double IPA, that's really quite low. You'd expect most double IPAs at, was it 8.5% ABV, to be a lot kind of bigger in the IBUs than that. So this is, as I was going to say before that, this is definitely more sweet than bitter. Some people would say it's unbalanced, just on that alone. But it works for me, it works. Would I buy it again? If I could find a bottle I'd definitely buy it again, but obviously this is a limited release. I paid eight pounds for this as well. It was ten pound, but for takeout you get twenty percent off, which is really good. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely buy it again. Is it the best double IPA I've ever had? No. Is it world class? Yes. Um, I'd love to try it on on draft, but you 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 know you can't have everything so. One more sip then, and I'll give it a rating. Nice beer. It's solid. It's a 9 out of 10 from me. 9 out of 10. If you've had this beer, I'll be careful this box. There's still that much in it. If you've had this new, well I say new, it's probably about halfway through its shelf life. The New England style. IPA, double IPA I'd say, and it says IPA didn't it, yeah, yeah so it's, I'd class that as a double IPA, 8.5%, yeah, um, let us know your thoughts and opinions of it, quite a complex beer, and I'll definitely buy it again, <laughs> thanks for watching then, if you're new to the channel please subscribe, check out my playlists all below of both breweries check out the, the breweries websites etc if any of my friends have reviewed this beer their links will be down below thanks for watching then please subscribe and i'll see you on the next review cheers